Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I am going to be teaching you how to add more RAM to Minecraft the 1.16.3. This is a complete RAM guide. We're going to be going over every single step of RAM in 1.16.3. How to, you know, make sure you have enough RAM, how to see how much RAM you have for Minecraft, and really we're going to be talking about how much RAM you need to dedicate to Minecraft. This entire video we're going to be going over RAM and Minecraft kind of complete guide that'll last uh, for quite a while, hopefully at least into 1.17. But nevertheless, before we get into the video, we do have some more amazing sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an incredible 24-hour DDoS check in Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking to start your very own Minecraft server that has 24-hour support seven days a week from Apex, you can, you know, go and ask them if you have any questions or anything like that. You can go and ask them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Has super simple setup, one-click setup, very, very easily, and has amazing hardware so you don't have to worry about lag or things like that. As long as you have enough RAM over there, speaking of a RAM tutorial, we had one for servers, but nevertheless, you can check it out in the description down below. But as long as you have enough RAM, Apex is going to take care of the hardware. It is absolutely incredible. So again, you can just check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown. .xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. We love them so much. We host our own server on Apex. So there you go. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get your RAM set up for Minecraft. To do that, we need to see how much RAM you have first, right? That's kind of the first step. How much RAM do you actually have? So we're going to click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, but it's probably going to be in the bottom left of your screen. So click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen, and then search for System Information. You have this System Information app here. Click on that, and in here, you're going to want to find your total physical memory. So as you can see here, our total physical memory on this machine is 16 gigabytes, right? So I currently have 16 gigabytes of RAM installed on my computer. That's uh, less than I used to have. I used to have 32, but I had some RAM sticks go bad on my computer, and so thus, now I have 16 gigs of RAM. I actually see all of the computer stats that you have here, so pretty cool stuff, but nevertheless, as you can see, we got 16 gigabytes of RAM right here. Awesome stuff there. I love it. But that's important, and we need to make note of that because we cannot add really more than half that to Minecraft. So the most you'd want to add to Minecraft is 8 gigabytes of RAM. Now, in truth, the only reason you need that much RAM in Minecraft is if you're running like super high in mod packs, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Just make note that you have 16 gigabytes or however much gigabytes you have, however much installed physical memory you have. That's how much RAM you have, and um, yeah, long story short is that is what you want to make note of because you can't have, it's impossible to have more than that dedicated to Minecraft, and in truth, you don't want to go more than like half of whatever that number is. If it was 8, it would be 4. If you had 12 gigabytes of RAM, it would be 6. If you had 32 gigabytes of RAM, the most you want to dedicate to Minecraft is 16. So make note of that. Now we're not done here. We're not done here. We also want to see what kind of system type we have. Now you're going to have an x64 based system or an x32 based system. Now this one is x64 as you can see there. So that means we're good. x64 or x86 is what we want. We want an x64 or x86. If you have an x32 based system, unfortunately you cannot dedicate more than like a gig to two gigs of RAM. I think it's a gig of RAM to Minecraft. In truth, in that case, I would recommend upgrading your PC. Just uh, no one likes to hear that, but it's the fact that if you have an x32 based system, that's kind of what you want to do. Unless you've actually got a modern PC, then you just need to reinstall Windows for whatever reason you've installed a 32-bit system instead of a 64. You need to get on a 64-bit operating system in order to add more than like a gig of RAM to Minecraft. But if you have X64 there, you're, you're good to go. However, you then need to make sure that you get the correct version of Java. So let's close out of this and open up our browser, and we do have Java here. Now, not everyone needs to do this. You can skip forward a little bit and come back if you want, but I want to mention it that if for whatever reason, when you add more RAM to Minecraft, let's say you have seen that you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you've seen that you have a 64-bit system, but then you try to add more RAM to Minecraft, it's still not working. Well, in that case, you don't have the 64-bit version of Java. You have the 32-bit version. So you need to come here, and this is automatically going to help you get the correct version of Java for Minecraft. It's a simple three-step process. Go through and do that. You might need to run the jar fix. I have it linked in the description down below, but I have a feeling for this tutorial specifically, you won't need that. What we're more focused on here is the uh, getting the correct version of Java at this tutorial, again, in the description down below. Now, nevertheless, we minimize our browser. We can open up Minecraft and start adding RAM. So how do you add more RAM to Minecraft? Well, it's pretty simple. Just click on installations here at the top and then click on this, you know, latest release or whatever profile you want to play on. If it's Forge, this all works the same. No matter what profile it is, it's all going to work the same. Just click on the three dots on the right-hand side and then click on edit. Then you want to come down here where it says more options and click on that. And then in here, you'll have your Java arguments. Now, as you can see, I've already got six gigabytes of RAM dedicated. Yours may say XMX 2G here, whatever it says, this number before the G is how many gigs of RAM you want to add. So if you wanted to add six gigabytes of RAM, you can do that. If you want to add eight, you can do that. If you wanted to add two gigabytes of RAM there, you could make it one gigabyte, you can. Whatever that one G is right here, that is how many gigabytes it is. So two G would be two gigabytes. 5G would be, guess what, 5 gigabytes. 6G would be 6 gigabytes. We're gonna go ahead and dedicate four gigabytes because why not? Now, last thing that I wanna mention here is that you're never really gonna need more than four to six gigabytes of RAM for vanilla Minecraft, like ever. 
But now Minecraft's truly set up to run on two gigabytes of RAM optimally, right? So really and truly four gigabytes is overkill, six gigabytes is super overkill. However, when you step into modded Minecraft, things can get really tricky really fast. Some FTP packs can require up to eight to 10 gigabytes of RAM dedicated, which would mean you would need at least 16 to 20 gigabytes of RAM to be able to run that FTP pack successfully. Now, the thing is, you'd never want to use more than half of your total physical memory for Minecraft. The reason for that is you need RAM to run the rest of your stuff on your computer. For example, right now, I'm recording this video. I've got a browser open. I've got, you know, Minecraft open. I've got all this stuff open, and that's taking RAM. If I dedicated, all my RAM to Minecraft, it's impossible, right? That can't happen because all the RAM can't be used by Minecraft because there's other stuff on your computer needing RAM, even if it's not actually open. You can close every program. Your operating system needs some amount of RAM. So never use more than half of your RAM on Minecraft. So if you have four gigabytes, never use more than two. If you have six, no more than three, eight, no more than four, so on and so forth, all the way up to, if you have 64 gigs, you could dedicate 32 gigs to Minecraft and not worry about it. But you don't need that because Minecraft, truthfully, vanilla never needs more than four gigabytes of RAM and modded Minecraft usually never needs more than 10 gigabytes of RAM. However, a lot of mod packs do run off of four or six gigs of RAM depending on the mod pack. However, again, some really high end like 200 plus mod mod packs can require eight to 10 gigabytes of RAM. But nevertheless, to change your RAM, just come in here, XMX, change 2G or whatever it is to whatever amount of RAM you want. In our case, 4G being four gigabytes. Now we can go ahead and save this in the bottom right and click play on it here. And now Minecraft's gonna open up with this RAM added to it. I, I don't really know how else to explain that other than that. Now, if you do have any issues with, like I said, you had 16 gigabytes of RAM or eight gigabytes of RAM and you can't open it with more than like one or two gigabytes of RAM, that is going to be due to Java. And again, you can check that out in the description down below, our in-depth guide for Minecraft Java here. It's going to be the correct version of Java. I know it says for Minecraft server and mods, but really and truly it's just the correct version of Java for Minecraft. It's pretty blanket there. But nevertheless, we come back over here. We're in game. I'm going to jump into single player. We'll jump into this uh, test world here. I don't think there's anything in here that uh, could cause issues. <laughs> no mods have been ran in this world yet. But nevertheless, once we're in here, we can go ahead and I believe hit, let's see, F3. Is it F3? Yes, we can hit F3. And up here on the top right, we'll be able to see 4,096 megabytes. Now, if you run over to Google and we're to do 4,096 megabytes to gigabytes, that would be four gigabytes of RAM in the top right. So that's how you can verify that in the top right. You're just gonna hit F3 on your keyboard. And then when you hit F3, it's gonna show up here in the top right how much RAM is actually dedicated. And that's how actually how much RAM is being used. So as you can see, we're using two gigabytes of RAM before Java ran its Java RAM clear and it dropped down. So there you have it. That is how you can add more RAM to Minecraft. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. That's truly a complete guide to adding RAM to Minecraft. That's how to know how much physical memory you have. That's how to go through, you know, JVM arguments instead of the profile. That is everything. I'm sorry, I am looking at my notes over here to make sure I covered everything because I feel like that's pretty fast, but I think we covered it. I mean, that's everything. It's how to add RAM. That's how to see how much RAM you have. That's how to get Java. That's all of it. That's all covered in this video. So. Be sure to come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. 114 people online right now, but we're not even in peak hours. During the peak hours, we're well over 150 players every single day, so come play with us. As you can see, we do have incredible survival. We've got aquatic survival with a great slash shop based economy, then you go survival with a player based economy and a 30 custom quest. It's also now updated to 1.16.3. We've also got custom skyblock as well with OP enchantments, custom islands, 1.8 PvP fence generators, and so much more. And then again, Factions is now live on Breakdown Craft, and that means we have small team player, 10 player based PVP factions. It's incredible. People love our faction server. It, it's, it's an old school in the way uh, that it was created. We looked at older faction servers and then based it off that, but it's awesome. So come play this. Playdartbreakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. Enjoy your newfound RAM in Minecraft, and I am out. Peace.